Good morning, and welcome to Touchpoint Video at Zion Lutheran Church. I'm Susie Wyatt, the administrator here. This coming Sunday and next week, we will be focusing on a time of thankfulness. The pandemic has impacted all of our lives in so many ways. There probably comes a time when you say, thankful for what? If we listen, God will remind us we have so many ways to be thankful. For me, I'm very thankful for that beautiful sunset right outside my window each evening. Those yellows and oranges and purple colors bring such a sense of warmth and calm and relaxation to the end of the day. It's also a good reminder it's time to go home. The Zion staff would like to share with you some of the things they are thankful for. One thing that I'm thankful for at this time of year is the outdoors and the beauty of God's creation. Um, with the virus, we've had a lot of time to uh, spend time as a family outside, um, especially in our backyard, as you can see behind me, where we've uh, built a sandbox and a, I've had fires at night and um, tried to grow a garden and plant grass. So I've uh, just been really grateful for the outdoors and the chance to explore it at this time. Oh, what I am thankful for. Okay, to start, 2020 is almost over. So yippee, woohoo, yay. Okay, another one. My family and my Zion family, we are so blessed. But I'm gonna say technology wins right now because, because of technology. We were able to give you a showcase this summer. Because of technology, we're able to give you a Christmas album this winter. Because of technology, you're going to get to watch a, a nativity the week of Christmas. Because of technology, you're able to watch the sermons every single Sunday morning or Tuesday night, whenever you decide. And you can be at your home safe. So I'm going to say technology wins this year. Because without it, we wouldn't be able to keep in touch. And even though we're seeing each other on these little tiny squares, in some cases, and I know it's hard, but it will be so sweet when we're all together again. So God bless you. Have a wonderful holiday. Be thankful. I'm thankful for this church, Zion Lutheran Church. I know you're thinking, yes, you're the senior pastor. You have to say that. But no, seriously, I am so thankful for the way this congregation um, engages and commits itself to worship and service in God's world for the support you folks give to uh, our staff and our mission. I really am thankful for this congregation. Thanks for being you. I am grateful for puppy dogs. Here's the other one. And for beautiful weather for us to sit outside and I can bring my laptop out here and work and sit out here and enjoy some fresh air. I am thankful for our country that we live in and the freedoms that it affords us. When God began creation, the first thing he created was dirt. Dirt is a element that we constantly feel like we're trying to get rid of, but it is our very lives are dependent on dirt. Dirt is in every drop of rain that comes down. Dirt holds the magic of our food, our homes, our clothing, our medicines. Everything in the world is due to the creative use of dirt. I'm thankful for the gift of music, and I'm thankful to be in a community that enjoys exploring that gift. I have many things to be grateful for, but some things come to mind. Last year was a rough year for me. My impression of cancer is not a good one. Honestly, I was scared. But with the many people that came to my aid, I was grateful for their assistance. Um, there's a group of girls that I've been friends with for 30 years, and these ladies were a blessing to me. They and many of the ladies from the church did so many things for me, and of course, my family members. They took me to my doctor appointments, took me to my treatments, gave me rides to and from work, 
They came and brought us meals, cooked for me and James. And then whenever we needed anything out of the ordinary, they were there for us in a heartbeat. Some of the things that I was most special, most especially grateful for, were they prayed for us. They sent us cards, letters, and always were calling just to say they were in our, we were in their prayers. Without this wonderful group of people, knowing that they were there, I don't know if I would have been as cheerful about last year. I will have to say, without them, I would have had a rougher year. I'm thankful for all of the things they did for me and James last year, and I know that I will always be thankful for them. I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, God. Thank you, Science Church, for allowing me to continue working during the pandemic. And God bless you. In what ways are you thankful? Let each of us continue to count the ways that we have been blessed by God. The Zion staff wishes each of you a happy Thanksgiving. Stay safe. Stay healthy.